my Stadia options, playing around with some cool features, and I came across a feature that I haven't seen since launch. And it's a feature that allows you to toggle on communications from publishers that support the platform. And at launch, you know, it was maybe a handful or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't that large. You couldn't scroll through it. But I noticed now it is significantly larger. And it speaks to something that we'll get to at the end of this. But I just want to show you some of this. I can only spot check some of this. Look at this. Lyrian Studios, Bethesda, Rebellion, Modus Games, um, FTG Entertainment. Again, these are just the publishers that support the platform. And I can't say all of them because this video will be too long. Square Enix, CD Projekt Red. Let's go through more. Milestone, Behavior Interactive, Thunder Lotus, uh, Devolver Digital, SNK, 505 Games, Bandai Namco, IO Interactive, Bungie, Drool Electronic Arts, 2K, THQ Nordic, more Bandai Namco. Uh, let me see, NIS America, games that aren't even on the Xbox platform are here at this early life cycle of Stadia. Sega, Tiny Bill, Ubisoft, of course, more electronic arts, Coach Media, Gearbox, Capcom, the list, you know what I'm saying? The list is nice and robust. Here's the thing. I know you hear a lot of hoopla about how the platform doesn't have any support and it's dying. And then you hear me on the periphery pounding my chest saying otherwise. Um, that's the reason why. Growing support, games that you love to play, games that you may be familiar with, but now are infused with the Stadia experience. What is that Stadia experience, and is it worth you getting involved as well? There's only one way to find out. Try it out. Go to Stadia.com, play with the peripherals that you have on the screens that you already own. Don't believe the hype or the mishype. Have a wonderful gaming day.